Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls, and after that absolute train wreck of a rep, uh, of a rep if I were, it's a good start, um, after that last train wreck of an episode, um, this one, this one shall be better. No, I can't guarantee that, but it's going to be fun anyway. But first things first, um, we've got a level up, I've got a feeling I want to use those souls for something, but I don't mind. Um, what am I going to go for? I'm going to go for a bit of vitality. So why not? I want to get that up to at least a thousand HP, as you can see there. Um, also, I want to see how my uh, Uchi is doing, because I, I thought weapons in this game uh, you got fixed if you rested at the bonfire. It didn't last time, but that could be because I died, so let's have a look. So durability 18 out of 80. So that's going to be an issue. Um, but yeah, first things first. Uh, I looked up how to get the antiquated set, and I was looking in the right area. But apparently, what you've got to do is you've got to summon Dusk and speak to her first. So yeah, a bit of preparation this time, and things should go a bit smoother. But that does mean having to fight all those douchebag golems. Uh, actually, no. First, we'll go go to Andre and get get my um, get my weapon fixed. And uh, I I think then maybe he sells you something that you can use to repair your weapons. Unless oh shit, I've already got it. I don't know. Right. Yeah, got you. Okay, that's a good sign. This episode's gonna be good. I can feel it. I can feel it. Go go over to Andre, have a little chat with him, see what's see what's going on. Cause I I was under the impression that your weapon is just repaired once you rest the bonfire. Um, who knows? Right, I'm just gonna have to run past some of these crazy trees. You missed. So, yes, I love that move in Dark Souls One, uh, Dark Souls Three as well. I don't know, I'm, I like the Claymore in Dark Souls 3, but um, I mean, it's a good weapon. But in this, it feels combined with the fact that this just feels a lot slower anyway. It just, I don't know, I'm not not liking it as much as I do in Dark Souls 3, so I'm not sure if I'll stick with this, but I don't know. We'll see how things go. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen oh, one yeah. of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I can produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. I forgot about that. Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. Not sure what. Let's have a look. Um. Where's it modified? I can make a divine. I'm not sure if I can use that um, in oh, what is it, the catacombs or not. I think it might have to be in a cult one. No, I think divine weapons will work as well. Because there's enemies that um, just won't die. You'll kill them and they'll come back to life as skeletons. So having a divine or a cult weapon is useful. But yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So purchase item first. Ah, okay, we need the repair box. Get yourself killed. And we'll go and repair my Uchi Katana just up by here. Before we go and speak to Dusk once again. And then we'll finally head off into the depths. It's been a long time coming. So, repair equipment, here we go. Repair that, why not? Just repair all this crap. Of 
of that could be offensive if I was more organised, but organisation is it's a skill that I do not have. I just, you know, I, I don't understand the concept of being organised, and I apologise for that. But if you want chaos, you're in the right place. Oh, you are in the right place. Wow! Chaos and shitty gameplay. This is the way. do what he always does and falls off the side. Why? Why do you do that? Just the pathing in this game is intensely annoying. As are these guys. So slow. Come on, come on, come on. I see what you did there. Read me like a boat, didn't you? can't see me. It's doing much better damage. I didn't realise as well, it seems like um, the amount of you, uh, damage you deal degrades as your weapon does. So it's probably good to get into the practice of just um, repairing my weapons whenever I rest at a bonfire. It only costs a few souls. Yeah, because I think I was doing about 40 damage per hit. Going down much quicker. This is far better, I'm liking this. Alright, you're next. and spam those guys to death. Good to know. Right then, this is the last time I will be making this journey into this lake. Actually no, that's a lie. If I do the um, DLC then I will be going back there once again. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. It is an honour to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. So in a gesture, prop about, very nice. Let's talk, let's exhaust the dialogue options first. For a very long time, I was trapped within the crystal golem. From my home I was taken, banished to a plane of distortion. It was there that thou came to my rescue, long after I had relinquished all hope. So gleeful was I, my faith reneweth. The sorceries of Ulysseal differ from the magic of it is difficult to explain. All his hill sorceries are, what doth one say? <laughs> They're somewhat of an approximation. Thine sorceries are more straightforward, negating all but thyself. Dost thou not find some fascination in these discrepancies? Sure. The sorceries are okay. Thank you for not being a different from the magic. Of oh. It is difficult to explain. Oh my life. I swear in Dark Souls 3 the talk radius is I am Dusk of quite a bit smaller. I shall yes, yes, yes. Um, how it actually casts light. Awesome. I'll just buy that now. Um, repair, that could be pretty useful. And I think that's the same level as um, cast light. That could well be useful. Especially because Uchi Katana. If um, they're 
and Uchi Katana is a katana, as well as the Aito and Washing Pole, and um, they do have quite low durability, so they um, it doesn't it takes uh, less time for them to get to the point where they're at risk and then eventually break. But I don't know, for the most part, it isn't really an issue in, in this game, even with the katanas, they're not actually that bad. You do get you know a nice nice amount of time before they start breaking. Um, so yeah, I've had the Uchi Katana now since like episode 2 or 3. This is now episode 10. And that's the first time I needed to repair it. So it's not like in Dark Souls 2 where it was it was just a bit ridiculous. The weapons are graded really quickly and um, I think they were actually bugged at first, particularly on PC. So yeah, they would degrade so fast, people were not pleased. Alright, we finally got the antiquators there and I'm going to waste yet another homeward bone. I can buy them, so it's not too much of an issue. Yeah. Now we can head off down to the depths. Should be okay. I don't want to rest at another one, but I think I should be okay to get to the depths. Uh, bonfire without dying. So yeah. Go this way. Purely because I just don't want to deal with that dragon. And it does mean going through and dead bird. So this way I can just sort of go to the bottom of that tower and BAM! Mess out the undead bird and all those enemies. So let's see, this way is probably quite cool at all. And away we go. That being said, I may as well rest there while I'm here. So we're going to those basilisks again. Let's see how my smiles. Just get the standard arrows. Ah, oh, nice and cheap. Get 20. I use them a lot in Dark Souls 3, I never really used them in the original, but they are, can be really useful, so I might try. Oh yeah, she doesn't sell them. That's cool. I should buy arrows for now then. 260. That should keep me going for a while. damage from 
from 69 to 352. Nice. It's like what? About five times as much? I forgot about jumping, into, uh, jumping, about jumping attacks. I like the one on the UG, it's, it's pretty cool. It's useful in the corridor and then you can sort of roll back. But I like that one as well for funneling people. Let's see if you've got a few running through a tight area, it's a nice, nice little move to have. I was going to try and parry him, but he sort of dual wielded, and uh, yeah, I got worried. This guy, do not attack the barrels, because you might aggro him, and goodbye, Paramancy. Thank you. I would have been a supper with him again. Been eating the line. I shut up, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. You're welcome, bud. I am Laurentius. Or the Great Swamp. start using pyromancies a bit later on, well now really, if we go back to Filing Shrine he'll be there and he'll give you a pyromancy flame and pyromancy in this game is pretty overpowered, it's pretty cool, I'm not too sure if I'll bother with it, um, it is, I don't know, honestly I just find it useful for, fuck, I knew that was coming as well, I just find it useful for grinding more than anything, I thought that was going to kill me then. How is your problem, dude? Fuck off! They can drop large Titanite shards, I think. They could drop something pretty useful. So, yeah. There's more of them in here, I think. No. Yeah, this is where the bonfire is, I think, if I go through here and take a right. Yeah. So there's those dudes chilling out up there. Just run. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? I hate, I swear, usually that happens like once per playthrough, if that, and now it's just happened like twice. What is wrong with me? And this is how you get to the bonfire. sure they can drop it on green materials. I will uh, I'll just kill these and see what they drop. Because if they do I might farm them uh, off screen. Well off camera in my own time so it's it's pretty boring, won't I? Don't know why I healed there, I didn't really need to. You 
might be asking why I just kept hitting the door then. It's because I'm one of those people that if I want to try something, I want it to work, and if it doesn't work, I get frustrated and I'm like, no, motherfucker, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Which is probably not a good personality trait to have if you're playing Dark Souls, because it will just shit on you. I don't know, I've got to be honest, Dark Souls doesn't. I don't know, I don't find it makes. it's not really that rage inducing. Last episode was a bit of a kicker, but. You know, it's not like, oh, I'm like genuinely want to quit and never play it again. That doesn't happen for me anyway, but I can see for sure why it, it's, uh, why it makes some people feel like that. It can feel pretty cheap at times. So. Also useful because um, I'll get invaded by an NPC in this area, provided I don't die on the way, or we'll just get ganked by an invader. Yeah, that was lucky not to kill me. Well, not hit, kill me, hit me. This is where you can see in the last episode there's like a cage off the stair. Stair, staircase, that's where that is. I'm just trying to get my bearings to be honest. Oh, yeah, this is where Kirk is. Well, not here, but it's not far. There's also another Chandler on this level, and he buffs a load of rats in the tree. Though. Got a feeling I'm rather hops out of here. Yeah. Takes you. Do I not hit you? No. Before I continue with the level. Ooh! Nice! Double humanity drop. I seem to be getting all the humanity. I think I must have absorbed one from. Because you can, if you kill enemies, there's like a random. I don't think it's random, I think it's like a hidden counter that you'll absorb humanity. Like every certain amount of hits or something. Uh, you'll get a humanity from an enemy. So I think I just got one. And then I got two drops. Oh yeah, that's the shortcut where you could see down this waterfall. This comes back up here. So, what was I going to say? Yeah, I got two humanities from that rats. But um, you do have a hidden, well, I say hidden, stat called luck or item discovery, as you can see it's by here. And um, the more humanity you have, uh, the higher uh, your item discovery is. It gets maxed out, I believe it's 10. Um, but it's, you get a big increase from the first one, so I think you, know, you can wander around with 10, but the best thing to do is just to have one. So I've got three humanity there. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, one gives you like the bigger, biggest boost, it's sort of diminishing returns after that. Right, I'm gonna put my antiquated set on. What am I doing? I might look a bit weird, but I'd rather that than be cursed. My dress and my helmet. Is that only point? F no, that's 20 curses. There, so that is worth having on. Definitely worth having on. Ah, okay, I think this is where the channel is with his little rats. I'm just going to wait for the rats to come up. I'm not going to fucking fight him. Oh no, you come up first. You come up first, yeah. I'm not sure why they're out of the way, because seriously, it's not fun to deal with. These are the fucking worst. Right. Yes, I have died to these before. <laughs> Bath is intense. Being the 
that as well. Of course you have. No, don't fucking ow. Uh, so this is the boss arena for the next boss, the gaping dragon. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Shit. This is not good times. Six, I just need the one, so that's good. Could be wrong. Yeah, this this next boss is really not difficult. I've never died to him, but I'm assuming I probably will on this playthrough because every fucking thing is going wrong. And I hate this area. I really do. It's because of all the shit you've got to deal with. Something gonna be a sweetheart? No, it's gonna be a touche. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna be a touche. Fuck it. And that's where I fell down here. Okay, cool. So I know where that leads to. So I'll go this way. Are you gonna try and lure me into a trap? Yep, I can see it, mate. I can actually see it. What's going on up here? Is this just a way to get around? Don't be a dick. It's just going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Nope. Okay. Yeah, you're scared now. I didn't think I could do that, could you? Oh. Ready? That just goes in a circle. Um, where should I go now then? Where should I go now indeed? I guess I'll just go down the waterfall. Holy shit, I have you though. You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna kill you. She will follow me and fuck me off. Thank you! And the dogs here. That's really not what it's put Okay, that one does. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're a super duper dog. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's the dragons. Okay. speaks a little bit of Welsh. I'm not sure. There must be somebody out there who's noticed. I can't be the only one. But let's have a... Oh, I don't think I can get... Yeah, I can get to it. Alright, you die first. Thank you. This dude, Don Mons, Nina, goes Shumai, which means, like, how it... It sort of doesn't really translate into English, but, like, 
it directly, if you translate it directly, it sort of means how is or how are. But it's sort of like, oh, are you right? How's it going? I don't know. Thank you. I'm Donald of Zeno. I'm just a peddler of sport. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Sounds a lot more Welsh than I do. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. You are? Hmm. I don't. Okay. Gold pine resin. No. Uh, oh, he sells crystal things, doesn't he? That's so nice. He sells his armor. Which I want me buy. Okay, nothing well, I want. It, it no. is. And this is how you get to Blight Town. Possibly the most hated place in this game. <laughs> it will, I'm, um, yeah, a bit worried about what, what's going to happen to my frame rate when we get there, but there we go. I had him up with a shortcut whilst I'm down here. Which makes life easier if I do die. And run bass, run bass, <laughs> run back to the boss. What? You want to like, what the fuck? Oh, that was bullshit. I thought they were just like fucking be, it was just the stupid AI, AI whatever, I don't know. I thought they were all dead and I just thought it was glitching around. But okay, we're about to get invaded by Kirk. He's not much of a threat. And where bounces it? Fuck those guys. I think I'm getting it wrong. Yep, there he is. Ah, oh, I'm a basilisk. Yeah, it is by here. Mate, there's a basilisk on the way just to warn you. Shit. Oh, I can't really see what's going on here, bird. Oh, fuck me. Right. Thank God for the antiquated set. That's all I'm saying. You can just backstab, backstab him the moment he like spawns in as well. Uh, oh my God! I swear I never have this much trouble with Kirk. <laughs> I swear I'm not as shit as this game as I'm making myself out to be. Oh, he dropped something. I'm not sure if he always drops something or if it's just. Oh, wow, well, that curse resist. Making a hell of a difference in humanity. Is that all I got? Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to run back to the bonfire quickly. I've got so much humanity on me. I don't really like running around with humanity. I don't mind losing souls, but humanity for some reason. I don't know. I feel the pressure with humanity, you know? This is not where I want to be, is it? No. Okay. Yeah, this place is a bit of a maze. Here we go. It's already been kindled, so that's good. Uh, can I level up a bit? Yeah. Uh, no, that's not cool. That's cool. Um, Should be enough for another level up. Maybe. No, we'll just show. Uh, I think I'll whack this. Uh, level up. Oh, no, wrong one. Whack it into Dax. I fight the boss. 
us anyway. Boom. Run past everything, pretend they're not there. Wow. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Of course I am. This is also the wrong way. Yep, I've just aggroed a load of rats going me. Okay, maybe I wasn't going the wrong way. Just got to deal with rats anyway. Nope. How have I done this? How have I forgotten <laughs> the way from the bonfire? Oh dear. Have I gone the right way? No, I haven't. Let's go down here. Ness is where the door is. Whoopsie. Oh, he dropped his sword, nice. I don't know if he always drops that. Yeah. I've got a feeling, hang on. I just get to the gaping dragon through here. I'm not too sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I get to it through here. Nope. Just looking around for items. I'm sure there's something around here, but I could be mistaken. Don't tell me I can't get to it from here. No, I can. Sweet. And that's so there's some of the time, I think. Yeah. Don't want to summon him. But I'm not sure if you need to to progress this quest line. I'll do it just in case. You can all think I'm bullshitting about beating him, never dying to him, but um, I haven't. And I have done so long. I think the first time I um I think the first time I did uh summon Solaire, I could be wrong. In fact I think it's recommended you just don't fight you don't summon Solaire for this. I don't know. I don't know. I get confused. Let's just go. Shouldn't be too much of an issue anyway, unless it gives him like an insane damage boost. And you can cut this guy's tail off as well. It's a beautiful creature. Absolutely stunning. Does electric damage as well. There's nowhere near as bad as he looks. Just gotta watch out for an attack where he slams that down on you. Does he get a charge? Come on, look on. Yeah, that is an attack. Nope. Just spamming that. I'm gonna fuck your tail up. Oh my life. Are you for real? 
So there, like, you're doing shit all. You are not even hitting him. If this was anyone but you, I would not be happy. Oh shit. Wow! God, he, he might just do an attack that will surprise me with the old damage he does, so I'm just gonna heal up. Fucking hell, what's his tail made out of? So that is gonna die. Wow. I'm really not sure what's going on. I'm gonna have to fly. Oh man. How much damage do your tail wanna take? It automatically goes in. Oh my god, stop it! I'm gonna kill Solaire. Oh, for f are you shitting me? Why are you doing this? Maybe this is not this is why they suggest you don't summon Solaire because it just does that shit all day. I think the best place is to cut his tail. Yeah, there we go. I remember. They recommend you cut his tail off sort of in the midway. Stop locking on. Ow. Yeah, this guy really isn't hard. Bleed, motherfucker. Shit. What are you doing? Yeah, I think Ascension have just made this fight a lot longer than it needs to be. Your ass on the floor. Do it again, do it again. Good man. You're a good dragon. Oh shit. Bill! Fucking Sarah paid him out. Shit. Oh no. Oh my life, what is going on? I am just signed your own like, death note or whatever the, whatever this is. Oh really? Still wanna go? I'll let you get that attacking for free. Dead. So yeah. Really not much of an issue. And I've already got that set. It's the stand set for the night. Um, so yeah, I'll just grab a few of the items that are left around the place. Or then, then I just thought I was seeing items. No. No. Am I mistooken? Okay, so then, um, yeah, I think I'll keep venturing on into Blight Town, get that bonfire, and then end the episode. Uh, so this is going to be quite a long one, uh, unless I die on the way, which of course is very possible. Um, might just sort of do it with just a dash for the bonfire. And, uh, I don't know. It does mean dealing with annoying, annoying as fuck enemies. In fact, no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave this episode here. I'll just go back to the bonfire. It's not, not an issue. So I'm gonna pass all of this. Let's see. So yeah, I'll go back to the bonfire. Get me some level ups, and then we'll head off into Bright Town in the next episode. Should be pretty good. Um, so I got three out of that. Uh, there we go. Right then, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And next episode, it will be Blight Town time. So that's going to be full of awesome fun. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.